In this video, we're going to see applications of SMAS Studio regarding to the solution of equations and the use of units. For that, we're going to use this particular worksheet in which we have type an equation. To type this equation, you will start by typing x raised to the power 3. You can either use the caret in your keyboard or use the power placeholders over here and continue plus 27 times x squared and so on. Anyway, I type the equation and then you use an equal sign here to complete the equation. That equal sign is not the regular equal sign, but this one over here, which is called a Boolean equal sign, a um, logical equal sign, which is obtained by clicking here or using control equal. With that, you complete the equation. This equation is the first argument in a function called solve. And the second argument is the variable you're solving for. If we click outside of the parentheses here and press the equal sign, we obtain two solutions. This would, would tend to give you as many solutions as possible. I'm going to do a backspace here to clear. Now, if you add a couple of arguments, zero, say 0 to 100, you will be selecting only uh, solutions that are in that range from 0 to 100. Say that I use 0 to 10, for example, it gives me that. If I try something smaller than 5, let's say 0 to 2, it will show a um, red frame, and if you put the arrow on top, it will say no real root. So there's no real root in that, R, in that interval we have to go to something larger to find that particular positive solution. If we now eliminate those values and go negative from minus 100 to 0, then we find there are two solutions. In the first time that we tried, we didn't see this larger negative solution, but if you change your range, you can find that. And we should have expected three real solutions for this um, cubic equation is indicated in there. So that's one example where a simple algebraic equation was solved and uh, we, can, we can use the ranges to determine the, the, the location of the solutions. You can also use it to solve algebraic equations, or non-algebraic equations, sorry. For example, this one saying natural log of x is equal to the square root of x over 2. If I say equal, it shows that particular result. Now, I'm going to delete this value and use the arrow, the symbolic evolution. And it, what it gives me, it tries to give me a numerical result expressed in a way where there are no decimals. And that's basically a fraction, a fraction of two integers. And so that is the, the value. Let me just correct my size in here. There right, you go. This is the value uh, of that fraction that we're trying to find. If I do a backspace here, another backspace, and then you, the regular equal sign, I obtain in that particular result. Another feature in the software is the use of units. If you look into this icon here that looks like a funnel, it's the icon of units, and then you have different types of dimension like area, charge, electric charge, of course, uh, electric current, and so on, you're going to find all kind of units defined for the for the different dimensions. I'm just going to give you a quick example here where we have defined a mass as 4.56 kilograms. This is the way I do it. You do m colon equal 4.56, and then you put the apostrophe, and that allows you to type an, a, a unit, and you can see that the text shows up in blue, indicating a unit. So we have that defined over there. We're going to delete it. I define this mass this way and this acceleration this way. If I want to calculate a force here, mass times acceleration, say equal, it will give me a result in the units of the international system, although you can change the unit to units of the English system in need be. There's a variety of units, as I mentioned, available under the unit icon, this one that looks like a funnel, and you can decide what variables you are trying to um, operate on in order to obtain your result. Uh, we're going to do one more example here. If we do um, a voltage of 30 and apostrophe 
we, we find that volt in there. And let's say a current, I'm going to call it uppercase I, uh, uh, let's say uh, 2.5 amperes, could apostrophe A. That is ampere. And I'm going to call it the resistance. And it gives you the, res the result in ohms as I expected. So uh, there is a lot of uh, applications that, that you can do in uh, SMAT Studio, and in particular, this is the case of solving equations and using units. We'll show you more applications in the upcoming video.